Tom Grimmett versus Ian Stevenson is our next bout, a mixed martial arts fight. Tom Grimmett making his way to the cage with his head cornerman, Hayden. Hayden's a great person having your corner. He has experience competing on uh, amateur events as well, so he's a good person to have. He can stay calm and give you some good salient advice. doing before the match they have to make sure that the opponent's nails are trimmed they have to make sure that the Vaseline is applied to reduce cutting someone in the crowd giving uh, Leon Edwards coach-esque advice don't let him bully you son MMA. Great turnout from them tonight. Interesting tattoo choice as well. intensity from both fighters, a bit me mugging going on. Tom Grimmett opening up Southpaw. Big couple of body kicks from the Immortal MMA fighter. Yeah, big thing to watch for when opening up from Southpaw is those rear leg kicks. Very important to land those. Enters on the body lock. Always opponent to, to lock in the standing guillotine. He's moved his hands from away from the body lock to defend it, so it must be serious. I mean, guillotine attempt here, but it looks like he's losing the grip. As he's losing the grip, it might be important to transition to something else so he can still maintain a dominant position. I was shooting low, but Ethan Stevens encountering with that, that whizzer on the neck and a, a knee to the body. Nice reversal attempt there, but his opponent managed to uh, get a reversal of his own. Shoot that far leg on the single. Yeah, when defending a single leg like that, it's important to uh, spread your base. Ooh, good flurry there on the breakaway. Nice combination from Ethan Stevenson. Huge body kick, and it's over. Ethan Stevenson with a huge body kick for yeah. the win. Third in body kick. Beautiful shot there. That's the thing about body kick, it doesn't matter how strong your chin is, they can, they can whip in if they hit you in the wrong spot, like the floating rib. It's not a nice, not a nice feeling. be as tough as you like but at the end of the day if one of those body shots hits you in the sweet spot it's game over Tom Garut was hurt there, looking towards the referee, he, he knew he had enough. Yeah, and 
impossible to uh, intelligently defend yourself.